good morning to my friends at Dyersburg Primary School. My name is Vanessa Kane, and I'm the Children's Director here at MacGyver's Grant Public Library across from the City Hall in downtown Dyersburg. And I have a book today that I think you're going to love. It is not only a book that tells you about animals that has these wonderful pictures. See that frog? Who could ever get that close to a frog? It's called Curious Critters. And the words and the pictures are by David Fitzsimmons. So he's the author and the illustrator. And he used a camera to illustrate this book. So these are real pictures of real animals. And has a lot of great information on it too. This book goes along with your unit. Awesome animals. All kinds of animals. Curious critters. Look at that picture. What do you think that might be? We don't ever see it, um, bugs that close, do we? It's hard to see them that close when they're buzzing by. This book was published by Wild Iris Publishing. There's another really great picture. What do you think that might be? Curious Critters. Text and photography by David Fitzsimmons. American Bullfrog. Vroom, 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 vroom. I love sitting by the end of a pond and singing all day long. I sing for the lady frogs. Sometimes I climb onto land, but there's nothing like leaping, splash, and back into the water. I love water. It keeps my skin looking good. Wet and slimy. Look at that frog. Have you ever heard the frog singing by the edge of the pond? Rum, rum, rum. This is an American toad. Looks a little bit like a frog. Let's see what he has to say. It's just not true. I don't give people warts when they touch me. And that fairy tale about a princess kissing a frog? Bah, it's rubbish. Who wouldn't want to kiss a frog? Okay, so I might not be the most handsome critter, but I make a beautiful trilling call. I quietly eat all kinds of annoying insects. I stay out of the way, hiding in the leaves and dirt, and I don't make a big show of leaping like those frogs with their splashy dives. I humbly hop, 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 hop. You like that frog? What do you think? Ooh, a blue jay. Keer, keer. Ha, I scared you with my hot call, didn't I? You thought I was coming to get you. Actually, I'm just a jabbering jay, but I love to imitate hawks and other birds. In the wild, I love to jabber. Jay, 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 jay. Tulu, tulu, wheedle-lee, wheedle lee Click, click, click. Kier, kier. Ha, got you again, not a hawk. Just me, a jabbering jay. Have you ever seen a blue jay? Have you ever heard them uh, sing to you in the, in the yard? I didn't know they made all those sounds. Now I'm gonna go out in my yard, I'm gonna listen for those sounds. Oh, Ohio crawfish. Do you know why I'm waving my giant claws? I'm warning you, don't come any closer. Snap, snap, snap. I catch my food with these claws. I also attack and defend myself with them. Snap, snap, snap. Do you want to know something really cool? If any of my legs get hurt, including my giant claws, I can grow new ones. Pretty neat, huh? Now enough chit chat. Back off, snap, snap, snap. I don't think I wanna see that crayfish that close to me with his claws out. What do you think? Let's see what's next on the next page. Ooh, what is this? Look at that big picture. That is a goldfish. Oh, hello. It's good to see you. I do like visitors. I Let's play a game. I'll flip my fins and swim around in this aquarium and you throw in some food. Sound good? Great. Oh, well those funny fish flakes are okay, but how about some veggies? A few green peas sound good, or maybe you could find a few insects or worms or the guy in the previous page isn't gonna like this, but how about some baby crayfish? Did you know goldfish hate baby crayfish? I didn't know that. Uh-oh, here he comes. Sorry, crabby crayfish. Put those giant claws away. Fish flakes are fine for me. Do you have a goldfish? We have a goldfish at our house. It's a really big one. He's growing and growing and growing. Southern flying squirrel. 
Yes, I can fly. Just a second. Okay, I spread my legs. Wait. Yes, I am a bit jumpy. Jittery. Owls hunt me. You see? So, I climb a tree, go out on a limb, and jump. Flaps of squint beneath my legs, between my legs. I spread them, and I gracefully glide. I want you to look at the flying squirrel, and I want you to look right there where it says glide. I like when a book does that with the words. Sleep? Me? No, never. Well, okay, during the day, inside a hollow tree. Gotta fly. Goodbye. Looks like they have a lot of energy. Looks like they're kind of jittery. And he talks a lot, doesn't he? <laughs> this is a big brown bat. Gliding? The little squirrel calls that flying. It's more like a long leap. I can really fly. I have skin stretched across my fingers, forming wings like a bird's. And my wings allow me to fly up and down and left and right wherever I want. Now, stop looking and turn off the lights. I fly in the dark. I squeak and listen, squeak and listen. As my sound bounces off objects, I hear where things are. It's called echolocation. Can you say that with me? Echolocation. Have you ever heard of bats that do that? They make noises, close their eyes, make noises, and they know where things are by how their sound bounces back to them. They have really big ears. Look at their ears for how little their face is. He's got his mouth open too, doesn't he? Looks like he's kind of scary because he's got his mouth open. But let's find out what he eats. Do you know what shapes I love to hear? Tasty beetles, juicy moss, and stinky bugs. I eat them as I fly. During the day, leave me alone, upside down, wrapped in my wings. I need my sleep. There's a lot of animals in this book that stay up all night and sleep all day. Fox snake. Do you like snakes? not like snakes. I'm kind of glad it's just in a book. Silently, silently, I sneak up on animals. I wiggle in the wetlands and slip through the grass. I climb up trees. In marshes and fields, I look for rodents. Among branches, I find birds and their eggs. That makes me hungry. I'm a constrictor, which means they squeeze. That's what they do. They get around something and they squeeze instead of biting it. That's how they hunt. I slither, I squeeze. Can you make that S sound? Ooh, I'm glad to be on this page. Eastern Screech Owl. Wow, what woke me up? Sorry, I was sound asleep. I was up hunting all night. How do I find food in the dark? Well, my big ears and my big eyes help me see at night and my big ears pick up the slightest sounds. Listen, did you hear that? those big eyes and those big ears. What was I saying? Oh yes, that's whisper. I search for rodents, bats, birds, fish, and reptiles. Last night's hunt was so successful, I caught a mouse and a snake. It was nice sitting with you for a moment, but please excuse me. I must be about getting some more sleep. There's another one that sleeps all day and hunts all night. Gray tree frog. There's another frog. I know you're thinking gray. You look green. He does look green, doesn't he? Is that one of those tree frogs that change color? Actually, I change color. Sometimes I'm almost black, other times bright green, and oftentimes I'm somewhere in between. Do you know why I change colors? Why do you think he changes colors? Can you guess? Say it out loud. I bet you're right. It's kind of like hide and seek. Animals try to find me, but not for play. They want to eat me. So I change colors to match my surroundings. I camouflage myself. If I'm among leaves, I'm green. If I'm on bark, I'm harder to see when I'm gray. Do you know how I climb straight up? On my feet, I have sticky discs that help me crawl up nearly anything. You might even find me on one of your windows. Have you ever seen a tree frog on your window? They like those glass doors that are in front of your front door. Can you see his little suction cup? On his feet, he's kind of curled up, but I can kind of see a suction cup there. They just hang there. Isn't that cool? Would you like to just hang on a door? That'd be kind of fun. This is a bush katydid. Sometimes I wish I could change color. I mean, all the other katydids are green, but I am pink. What about that bug? That's kind of a cool bug, isn't it? Scientists say that pink katydids are special. My mother thinks so, too. She says that her great-great-great-grandmother was pink, and that's how I got my color. It was handed down to me from my relatives. I guess each of us shares traits with our relatives. The color of our eyes, the shape of our noses, 
even the size of our feet. My bright color is often pretty cool. I blend in with pink flowers, and when I can't hide, it seems that birds and animals decide not to eat me. I guess you, you could look at it this way. Would you want to eat a blue hamburger? What do you think? Would you eat a blue hamburger? He does look different, doesn't he? I think I would wonder, hmm, do I want to eat a pink bug? Let me see. Virginia oh, possum. That's what we call them a possum, don't we? We say possum. But the, look at that. Look, he's got that long tail all the way across the page. And there is the O on the possum, can you see? So you can say O possum or possum. I wrote a little poem, but I'm afraid to read it to you. What if you don't like it? Have you ever written a poem and wondered if somebody would like it? You really want to hear it? All right, here goes. Ode to Opossum by O Possum. Opossum, Opossum, how I love you. You carry your kids like marsupials do. That opossum is a marsupial. And they carry their kids on their back. Sometimes they carry them in a pouch under here. Whenever you're bothered, you run on ahead. If further provoked, you pretend you are dead. Have you ever heard anybody say playing possum and you pretend you're asleep? That's what possums do when they get scared. They just lay down and, and they make people think they're dead or animals that are trying to get them. But what I was wondering in writing these lines is why I say, oh, possum. Possum? No, O oh, is fine. So you can say it either way. Oh, possum or possum. And there's his little long tail and he'll hang. Wrap that tail right around a tree branch and hang upside down sometimes. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I wish I could hang upside down. Ooh, I just jumped. <laughs> this is a praying mantis, and that is a big old spider. Oh, Miss Vanessa does not like big old spiders. The praying mantis says, mm. Chinese praying mantis. I wasn't doing anything. I was just a getting ready to pray. Yeah, that's it. Pray. Just folding my pointy, sharp front legs, too. All right, you got me. I was not going to pray. I was going to pray, P-R-E-Y. That's right. I was looking for animals to eat. Here's how I do it. See my back? What do my wing covers look like exactly? They look like leaves, and I hide my among plants, and then I jump out grabbing insects and occasionally small reptiles, amphibians, and birds. The sharp spines on my front legs help me hold my prey. And yes, it's true. Mantids eat other mantids. What? Do you think that's in bad taste? Well, if you excuse me, I have to get back to my praying. And there he is again, the praying mantis. I'm going to try and read this one because this spider is really... Miss Vanessa doesn't like spiders very much. This is a jumping spider. Hey there, I saw you coming eight times. Yep, that's right. I have eight eyes, some on the back of my head. I can see in eight different directions at the same time. Watch this. Thwip. Quite a jump, hey? Thwip. Do you know how I jump? I don't have muscles like you. I have liquid inside me. I change the pressure of the fluid in each of my eight legs, and that makes me move. I can jump long distances. Thwip, thwip, thwip. See you. You see those eyes that he has? All those eyes? You see how his legs are? I am going to turn the page. I don't like that spider. I'm glad that y'all are not scared of cats like Miss Vanessa. I dropped the book. All right. There's a nether bug. This is a red flat bark beetle. Oh, I'm glad to see you. My back is getting mighty itchy. Even though I crawl back and forth under the bark of trees, annoying little arachnids and keep and annoying little arachnids keep hanging on to me. Do you see them? I will show you. Can you see that little teeny tiny baby spider right there? He's catching a ride. Mites, that's what they're called, with eight legs, which is why they don't seem, which they don't seem to use too much. They just hang on to me and ride. They might as well be shouting all along the tree. Here comes the big red bus. To be truthful, they don't really hurt me, but oh, they are mighty annoying. I think they make his back itch because they wiggle around on his back. Or had something wiggle around on your back and you have to scratch it. Black swallowtail butterfly. I am beautiful and I want to be seen. I take flight showing off my beautiful colors. It's pretty, isn't it? See how they made it kind of fade into the back? All the other pictures are pretty sharp, aren't they? They have a lot of detail. This one's a little fuzzy. 
I flip and flutter, dip and dance, decorating daisies, pirouetting on petunias, and resting on roses. Now I know what you're thinking. Predators can catch me quite easily. True, but they don't. Do you know why? Because they think that I am poisonous. Let me tell you a secret. I'm not, but my colors are similar to a butterfly that is poisonous. So predators leave me alone, free to gracefully flutter by. And then remember how I told you I like how the words move? You see the dots between them like a butterfly? When you draw a butterfly on your page, do you ever draw the dots behind it to show where it flew? And the words do that in this book. I like that. Let's see what else is in this book. Eastern Spiny Softshell Turtle. Look at that. Does that look like a turtle you've seen before? He looks like he looks a little different. Soft shell. What do you think that means this is? Do you think that's a hard, 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 like a, you can knock on it like a regular one? Or does it look like it, it looks more like it's skin, doesn't it? Let's see what it says. Boy, oh boy, it sure feels good to get all cleaned up. I'm usually covered with mud. Living in rivers, I swim to the bottom and wiggle and diggle. Diggle is a word I made up. I dig a bit and wiggle a bit. After wiggling and diggling, I lie half buried on the river bottom, blending in. My shell's so flat that no one notices me, and the pattern on my back matches the mud, sand, and pebbles. Predators can't spot me easily, and neither can the small animals that I prey upon. I wait patiently for insects, snails, crayfish, frogs, and fish to come along, and then I extend my long neck and grab them. Well, I've been cleaned up long enough. It's time for me to wiggle and diggle. Look at his nose. This does look like sand and pebbles and mud, doesn't it? Imagine if that was laying flat on the bottom of the river. Would you notice it, do you think? Red-eyed vireo. Mom didn't think I was ready to leave the nest, but I wanted to fly. You see, my brothers and sisters, we broke out of our eggshells and ate so many insects that our wings grew and our feathers filled in, and well, I thought I could really fly. So out of the nest, I jumped. I flapped and flapped as hard as I could. I was flying, but then my wings got all mixed up and I tumbled down and I tumbled down. Mom's a little upset, but she's still feeding me. She said I flew, I flew pretty well. You ever tried to fly? Don't really try to fly from someplace high, but have you ever tried to do something that your mom didn't think you were quite ready for? We have to listen to Mama sometimes, don't we? Eastern box turtle. Here's a turtle with a hard shell. So you want to know a secret to a long life? After 50 years, I'd say it's pretty simple. Eat, sleep, crawl, hide, share, and have fun. There's a box turtle. Is he 50 years old? Wow. I eat almost anything. Worms, snails, insects, berries, fungi. I sleep in the dirt at night and hibernate under the ground in winter, and I'm always raring to go. Good sleep lets me crawl miles and miles to the woods each year. And when in danger, I hide. My shell is hinged down the bottom, so I just pull up my legs, head and tail, back inside and snap it shut. I'm not territorial, so I share my woods and sometimes the spots where I hibernate with other box turtles. And I always have fun. I enjoy bathing in puddles and I love wallowing in mud. Looks like he knows a secret to a long and happy life, doesn't he? Spotted salamander, rain, 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 won't you stay? Keep my skin moist every day. I will find a pool and lay a lot of watery eggs today. Swim, swim as larvae. Use your gills for skin to breathe. Then grow fingers, lungs, and feet. Life on land is just as neat. What do you think about that? He does look kind of like some rain and some water, but he likes to run around on the land too. He's, he's very unusual looking, isn't he? And this is a monarch. I've been watching the most amazing thing. One of my caterpillar friends just changed shape completely. He called it metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. I said it wrong. Metamorphosis. You see, a few days ago, after weeks of munching milkweed, he just stopped eating and attached himself upside down to a leaf. And then he shed his old skin. And the new skin underneath was green. It hardened, forming a protective covering. He said it was a chrysalis. 
This morning his covering turned clear like a window, and guess what? I could see inside. He was orange and black, and he didn't look like a caterpillar anymore. It's the most curious thing. A few minutes ago he broke out of his covering, and he's a butterfly now. He said that I too will change into a butterfly soon. A beautiful monarch butterfly just like him. I guess life is all about change, and change looks good. So there is a monarch caterpillar before he turns into a butterfly. Isn't that cool? I wonder. And this is the end of the book where it shows all of the wonderful pictures that we've already looked at. And these are the life-size silhouettes of those same critters to let you see how big they really are. And there's a glossary in the back. And I really liked that book. And it was a very long book. And this was a long story time. And I'm so glad you stayed with me and stuck with me through it. This, again, goes with your um, amazing animals. Awesome animals. Sorry. Awesome animals. All kinds of animals in this book. And there's another book called Curious Critters 2 that has even more in it that you could check out here from our library. I'm so glad that you, you stuck with me and looked at all these wonderful animals. Even the spider. Which one did you like? Which was your favorite animal? I think I like the pink bug. What was your least favorite animal? I bet you already know Miss Vanessa's least favorite animal in the book. It was that big spider. You'll have to talk a little bit about which one you liked the best and which one you liked the least with your classmates today. Have a great day.